Yeah. Hello. Um, public spending in Wales is so much higher than the total revenue that we receive. Mm. So I'm wondering why Plaid is so hell bent on breaking up the United Kingdom yeah. for yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, for independence. And I'd also ask you, Leanne, have you played this independence down for the election purpose? I want Wales to become an independent country, and I see absolutely no reason or any inferiority about us as a nation that can't... Yeah, but where's the money coming from? Do you think you should pay for Wales 15 million a year? And what the, what do you, what's the tax that you pay back? Or we pay back? The tax is taken away. Yeah, what's the tax taken away? It's way below the settlement. It's, right? about, it's about six million, isn't it? Okay. Roughly. Right. So we're like Greece. Unless we have England paying the crooked bankers and the crooked uh, insurance Well, I think, I think you'll find the UK and is in deficit, okay? So there's a big gap between the amount of money that the UK takes in and spends because we bailed out the banks. And the, the, the gap is, is substantial. Well, let, let, let's the point the is, though... Yeah, before you answer, public spending was £38 billion in Wales in 2014-15. Now, the money raised from taxes was £23.4 billion. Mm -hmm. So there is a bit of a £15 billion a gap. Black it's hole. A gap. Yeah. So that, that is the question. No, and it's a fair question. And I think that that's the reason why many people are not in favour of Wales becoming an independent country, because they can't see how we can close that gap. The Plaid Cymru's manifesto is all about closing that gap. We've got a plan to do that in the short term and over the longer term. And, and look, whether you agree with wanting to become independent or not, surely you can agree with me that the aim has to be to close that gap. Come with me on this journey to help us close that gap. And I'm sure the English taxpayer would like Wales and Scotland to trot off and get off their backs. Look, we've, we've been impoverished because of the system that we are in. I want, us, I want us to be able to be in control of as much of our economic levers as we possibly can so that we can get to that point where we close that tax gap. I want us to be able to stand on our own two feet. Surely you want that too. Let's yeah, take a point up there. At the back. I don't okay. accept that. I don't okay. accept the word. You thank you very much. You've made your point. Let, let's let's bring some up. Let, you let's, said a few minutes ago. Let's, let's take some of the points. Thank you. The gentleman in the back, please. Right, let's make one thing clear. Clyde Cymru is not hell bent on going independent. <laughs> that is a fact. Right. If they were, we would be well down the road by now. Clyde Cymru has said quite clearly that they will seek independence when the people are ready. Right. Okay. The lady there, Leanne, do you really think, do you really believe Wales, or Scotland for that matter, but particularly Wales, could survive by themselves? I don't. Well, I don't accept that we can't. If every other country in the world is able to raise the taxes that it spends, why not Wales? Are you saying that people are here are somehow unable or incapable? <laughs> right. Do you have to raise to be independent? Give us a figure now then. That's not You've possible. done the sums. It's not possible to give you a figure. Not? Wales is not going to be independent for many years. We well, have no idea what our economic position is going to be in the, in the future. Yeah, but tomorrow, look, what, what I've said, be, what I've said and what Clyde Cymru has said at every step of the way on this question is that we will go nowhere without the okay. full consent Just of people briefly, in this country. Briefly on the timing here, briefly on the timing. On this programme a year ago, you said you would, you would want to see Wales independent within your political lifetime. Now, who knows how long that will be, but what sort of time scale are we talking about? Well, it's not going to be in the short term. We all understand that. Ten years? It's going to take a long... Years, well, five years? In our manifesto, we've put a target of closing the gap within a generation. So that's a 20-year plan to close the tax gap between right. us and the rest of the UK. Okay. So I think that's a good time frame. Yeah. Uh, next question, please. Let's go to Don Thomas. 